All right. So, anyways, as I was saying, last night uh, in the anime, they were the Transformers were three D, while the uh, humans were two D. It just didn't really work, and it was all in Japanese. Luckily, there were subtitles, um, and I learned about the key, you know, and the wings. Now I know what they're for. So, they uh, this guy used a uh, Use the key, and that summoned the wings, which made him faster. Which also activated, like these boosters here. Flames came out, which made him even faster. Oh, hey, so. this is a Thomas Q, and I have a question for you. Ooh, what's that? Where exactly in the UK does it take place? Between the Isle of Man and, um, and I would. Say, uh, the uh, Southampton Docks, possibly, due to it being at the, the near the ocean. Like, there's a map here. See, there's Isle of Man. There's Sodor. There's Bar like here's London right here. It's like right in the middle. Here's the Irish Sea. So yeah, that's where soda uh, takes place. We ought to just, uh... We ought to just wait for everyone to come in, and in the meantime, we'll just start uh, doing some simple questions and answers, I guess. Yeah, so, what do you have, Caden? Um, let's see... Why does the show look so much more derby than the book? Are you a Marvel fan too? Um, kind of. Uh, my favorite Avenger, um, who wasn't Avenger uh, at first, is Iron Man. Um, now, I'm a fan of Marvel memes. Um, they're pretty funny. I, I really like them. Uh, but Marvel itself, like, I feel like it kind of went downhill whenever Disney bought it, you know? And kind of sad that Iron Man died in Endgame. Fortunately. Spoilers. Huh? Spoiler alert. No, no. Everybody has seen Endgame by now. At I least am. I would think. I know I am going to watch it. Well, that's because you're not a Marvel fan, and neither am I, but, you know. That's a why. I mean, like, Avengers. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Yes, please do. This is a Q and A. Oh, by the way, um, the Reverend did not want Thomas to be an E two. Okay. He originally had a different plan. Uh, for Thomas, a different. I'm trying to forget what it's called, but it was bigger than the E two, but. He was like, okay, fine. Um, whenever he was... Are you a DC Comics too? Um, well, it's kind of complicated. Um, I like Batman, okay? He's, he's my favorite DC character. Wonder Woman and the others. Meh. You do. <laughs> um, but society has kind of driven me a little bit crazy. Um, which is why I kind of relate to the new Joker. Um, so, yeah. Kind of a DC fan. It's kind of strange that, uh, like, I believe Disney and Warner Brothers worked together once, but then split. So, that was like a rival between them, I think. I don't know. By the way, uh, Caden, uh, with, uh, with Henry, he, the Reverend actually did not like the look of Henry, okay? Okay. He didn't like it at all, and he was about to, like, just never let him out. He was pretty much just done with the character until some letters came in saying that they wanted more Henry, so 
he decided to make a backstory for him. Like, uh, it was an experimental engine uh, that was uh, from stolen plants and stuff like that. All right. Um, hey, Tyler. Yes. Don't look above your head. Ah! <laughs> you butthole. Get up. <laughs> um. Another thing about uh, here's uh Percy. Okay. The Reverend did not like Percy at all, although the thing was similar. But the illustrator drew him wrong, and the Reverend did not like that, understandably. I mean, like, it's his uh, thing, you know, it's his stories. So you would want that to get, you would want somebody to get the, the train right, you know? Let me double check the chat just in case I missed something. All right. Um... Oh, DC Comics. Uh, I actually haven't read DC Comics before. I have read uh, Iron Man comic and X-Men comic. So. Yeah, technically more Marvel. I'm not seeing the live chat replay. Or, not replay. Just, I'm not seeing a live chat. Hmm. Um, anyways. The Reverend, uh, said to him, uh, that he looks like a green caterpillar with red stripes. Um, eventually, uh, they gain their friendship back because, you know, I would imagine that, uh, that, well, if you were said that, you know, if you drew that and somebody called your illustration, um, a, green caterpillar with red stripes, you'd be pretty offended, too. So they kind of lost their friendship, but eventually, uh, they came back, and, you know, they became friends again. But there's a lot of controversy. 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 English. Nine. <laughs> Alright. Um, with, uh, with, with the illustrations. And... He's gone. That's fine. Yeah. Um, with Toby, this is actually a very interesting thing. Um, Toby's actually based off of... You see, like, the Reverend and his family went on a holiday. And he happened to come across a steam train that was... Uh, pulling the coaches for his holiday, I think. Um, so that's exactly where Toby came from, you know. His holiday, pretty much. Kind of likes to chop him hat. So when I see Toby, I always think of the Reverend's uh, holiday and Toby being based off of well, what he saw. Again, for anyone who's watching the replay of this, uh, feel free to post questions in the comments even. We can go back and yes. try to answer those for you. Yes, indeed. Yes, either me or Tyler will go answer those for you. Caden now kind of works with me on my channel. Oh, by the way, um, am moderator. Uh, most of the narrow gauge engines were actually based off of real engines from the Tallyclin Railway. Okay. Um, and in the Tallyclin Railway. They actually dressed up their engines for a day out with Thomas, uh, like the actual uh, trains. And believe it or not, Wilbert actually went to Dale with Thomas events. All right. It was around whenever Wilbert was alive, believe it or not. Um, so, yeah. And the. The um the the Dale Thomas events that are being dominated lately are by the Strasbourg Railway. But there's another railway that the Reverend liked that the Reverend actually blessed for Dale Thomas. 
So. Very interesting. Could have sworn that I saw something in the chat. We got zero viewers and two likes. What's going on here? Mm. As I said in the last stream, they probably didn't hit the bell. I want this car. Okay. I said I want this car. Be nice. Yes. What car was it again? Uh, to be honest, I already forgot. Hold on. I think it was a prototype. I just remember that it was from 2004. Uh, Keesler, right? A Chrysler. Chrysler. That's some type, but I don't remember. Are you looking it up? If I ever got one of these, I would, I would want to put on wings on it, but I'm pretty sure that would not be street legal and probably a bad idea because of, you know, just how, uh, nice, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, yeah, it's a concept car. Yeah, I know it's a concept car. And also, it is the 2004 Chrysler ME412. Yeah, that's it. I want one of those. How many were made? One. One? Are you joking me? Well, I said it was a concept. A concept of what, though? Just an uh, experiment with uh, their technology. Um... Okay, was there ever, like, a full-released version of what the concept was? Well, dude, no, I just said it was a concept, so that would only mean there's only ever one produced. Well, I mean, like, did the concept turn into anything? No, that's what I'm saying. It's only a concept. It never got released. That's a bummer. Yeah. Also, this joint here, this, this elbow joint, is loose... Unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to tighten that. Uh, there's a screwdriver, I'm sorry, a screw. Um, but I found out that screw is actually attached to the door, so I'm like, okay, that didn't really work. And somebody has joined the live stream. Welcome. Let me just check the live chat. All right. Um, hello, internet. Hello, internet. This is your daily dose of internet. What? What was messed up? Uh, nothing, just something I saw on here. Oh. And whoever joined left. Fantastic. Hey, well, at least this isn't as cringy as the last stream. Well, no, cringy isn't quite the word. Lonely? Right. We need to start actually answering some more questions uh i guess let's see i need to keep it notes i kind of want a uh, somewhat more detailed version of excelion but at the same time i don't want to waste my money like spend more money i mean i don't have an income so you know My goodness, I think I need a bigger box for all of my Transformers. I think that box is just a bit too small. I and mean, look how big Devastator is. It can barely fit. Maybe that's because he's assembled. Even whenever he was disassembled, he couldn't fit. There's just uh, too many um, Transformers in there, I guess. Well, I won't be the judge of that. You won't? Nope. Hmm. Well, what should we do now? What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken... <laughs> um, I don't know. Should we just keep going? If 
you or the uh, or the viewers watching the replay of this part, uh, if I if any of you have questions about the model layout coming, uh, please do uh, tell me in the comments. Yep. Or while also talking to you, if you have any questions. Oh. How long will it take until it's finished? <coughs> well, that I can't exactly give a straight answer. I I want to say before Christmas, but I don't see that happening. So, we'll just see. I had a cool idea. Maybe before, like, Christmas, we could totally put, like, small little snowflakes on there or something like that. Yeah, it wouldn't really work. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. What about Christmas lights on it? Maybe on the... Or Christmas tree. Maybe on the shelf scaffolding, but probably not on the actual layout. What about a Christmas tree? Just, like, just to make it a little bit festive for the holidays. Why not? Well, I don't exactly know where you'd put that, but... I don't know either. Well, anyway. Um. By the way, to anybody who is watching this, I am making three albums. One of them is going to be a Christmas album. Again, one of them is going to be a samurai-themed album, and the other one is going to be a Transformers-themed album. Samurai and the uh, Christmas ones uh, will be released on iTunes if I if I can is it on iTunes. Um, we're going to be using the free use songs uh, for the Christmas ones. And possibly my own song as well. Now as for the Transformers album, that'll be released on YouTube because Hasbro and stuff like that. But another thing that I could do is make a full soundtrack for the Transformers and release that because it's not directly tied to Transformers. So technically Hasbro could not come after me. I could do that. Yes. Yes indeed, I could do that. Oh, by the way, uh, remember the character Diesel and Thomas? Devious Diesels? How could I forget it? Yeah, um, whenever he was uh, introduced in the books, the, the reason why he was introduced into the books is because somebody said that, uh, that it, his book should be a bit more uh, modern, you know, since Diesels were coming into play and uh, during that time. You know. This is a very, very lonely uh, live stream. Yeah. I'm a wee bit chilly. Can you uh, turn off the... You know, I'll turn off the fan. Yeah. Actually, are you a little chilly? Yeah. Are you chilly? From the fan? Uh, why would it matter? Well, I'm a bit chilly. All right, turn it off. Then. Hold on. Huh? Okay, I'm back. <coughs> ah! I wonder if somebody put something in the chat while I was upset. Nope. But. Someone explain this to me. To the people. Huh? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, show the people. Oh. What do you want to be explained, though? Uh, why on earth a gold Ferrari is a thing? Uh, because it's cool. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm not complaining, but... That gets chipped, though. I guess any car gets chipped. If any cool paint job gets chipped. There's literally a supercar made out of diamonds. Gimme. <laughs> I think, like, the exterior body part of it is yeah, I know. made of pure diamonds. Yeah, I, I heard of that. But it doesn't actually run. What? It's like a fake car or something. I don't know. I forgot the story behind it. Ah. Oh. Well, we've gotten really off track here. Hey, Kaden. Kaden. What? Ask me why there's a gun on my bed. Why is there a gun on your bed? There's not a gun on my bed. There's not a gun on the floor. There's not a gun on the floor. <laughs> if you don't know what that it's from, uh, look up why is there a gun on your desk? Okay, it's it's really funny. Also, technically, YouTube, you can't really demonetize me here because this is BB gun, not a real gun. Show off the orange tip. Make sure to make a big deal out of that. Yeah. And you can it is the back. orange tip. And if I were pull to pull this back. It's fake. And another thing is that it's unloaded. So, I could... Oh, it's already cocked. But it's probably a good idea to put it on safety. I said to put it on safe. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to... <laughs> I'm supposed to raise that up. I'm stupid. Well, no, you're not. That's not actually how you would put a real gun on safe anyway. That's just how they did it for some reason at Crossman. Yeah. Um, you know what? Since I'm holding the gun, why not show a little bit of gun safety? Uh. All right. All right. Um, so let me just show you the basics of the gun. 